That's what we up here for. Right now. It's about <laughs> it's about opinions. What you think? That's what the world wanna know. What you think? And that's why we're here at Master Boxing. But before we get started, we want to give you guys a little bit um, a background on what this is all about. We got several people from different disciplines, and we want to bring the fact that the mixed martial art world is coming across the playing field onto the platform of boxing. So it's going to create intrigue, and it's going to create nothing but something that's going to be beautiful moving forward, as I can see it. That's what I see it as. I see the world of combat is coming together and it's about to become a force. And um, so we're going to go around the panel and see which discipline, which each one of these guys are actually a part of. Starting from left side with my man. The Introduce wild punch. yourself. The wild punch, you already know. Connor going to take that. Right, Pop? <laughs> yeah, he knows. Um, and what my discipline is, um, Muay Thai and also uh, Jiu Jitsu and uh, a little bit of boxing, just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> y'all, what you guys already know. You already know what he's doing out here on social media. Let's get it popping. And my man over here. Yeah, it's me, Mr. Philly Shell Zion. And you know, my discipline is boxing. And you know, Mayweather's going to take it. Yeah, just sit down. Man, not Weber. <laughs> 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 I know <can't go> McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. My man. Uh, it's Primo. You already know who I am. I'm a boxer at Master Boxing. Uh, that's what I do, man. I love it. Uh, as far as the fight, man, I'm gonna have to go with Mayweather. That's an easy pick. Nah, that's like his name. It may not be whatever. It's getting right. Get him. Get him. My right. man here. You already know my name is Pup. Uh, According to the fight, we're going with Floyd Money Mayweather because even the best boxers couldn't even beat Floyd. What makes you think an MMA fighter could come into his world and embarrass him? Y'all hear that? Let me hear some comments. Oh, all right. Really good, Floyd, Floyd's like 400 years old. Wait, you can't fight anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, he's right now. He's on fire right now. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what it has to be. You got to lay it out there. And over here we have. So I go by Trey Mars. I am a Taekwondo purple belt. I recently just jumped in the box and rode with the homies. Uh, personally, I'm just going for whoever wins. You know, I think uh, Floyd has a lot to bring to the table. I also think that McGregor has a lot to bring to the table. You got to pick one. You I got to pick one. You have to pick one. You, pick one. you can't just say whoever that, wins. I just See, jump into a world if I do that. You know, we're just rolling like, the oh, dice. Yeah. What are the dice say? Mayweather. Mayweather, you say yeah. you're rolling with Mayweather. So right now. Yeah. I want to be on your side because you know we like to kick it. You know what I'm saying? But nah. sorry. <laughs> Hey, so all of these guys, you know, have tasted boxing and they've tasted the other mixed martial arts. And I mean, evidently, it, it must be something intriguing because we got my boxers over here trying to kick the bag now. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, the taste of the bug will spread both ways. You know, the guys over there want to taste over here and vice versa. I mean, if you don't want to learn something new, it's probably a knock on yourself. But the fact that they are showing um, the world of boxing got an opportunity to see some of the disciplines. Since Conor McGregor doesn't have any plain boxing footage, they were able to see some of the things that he does in his matches in the cage. That octagon is something special. You know, I know I'm a big fan of MMA. I watch all the UFC fights. I probably watch more than the people that are in the MMA because I tune in. I watch all science. And when I watch those guys, like, it's just... What it takes to do what it is they do, it takes a special, if we are football players, we're basketball players, we're soccer players on a professional level. So it's just something that looks good whenever you see all of those guys, especially mixing up all of those disciplines and what it takes to do that is absolutely crazy. So when it comes to George, George came into boxing, he was kickboxing, he's done, I mean, the guy is first. So if you've seen any of his, training clips out there, I mean, which I'm positive you have. If you haven't, it's something special to watch. It shows what it takes for a guy. So over the past year, what have you learned since you've been in boxing? Because this is good, because this will give you an idea of what Connor's going through right now. Yeah, um, all jokes aside, boxing is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Like, it's yeah. harder than, uh, 
mixed martial art, like really, because um, there's so many little details, and they said the devil is in the detail, so that's why those boxes can do so many different things. And um, and that's what I appreciate from then and uh, from my boxing, because now I can um, add that to my um, to my repertoire, and I'm not just talking about hands, I'm talking about footwork. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing Indeed. that I learned in boxing, the footwork is so, <laughs> it's like something else. So, um, um, as far as um, McGregor go, um, I, I seen some, some some stuff on YouTube, YouTube and stuff like that, and I know that he just gonna be on all the dots and stuff like that. He's not gonna, he's not gonna do anything boxing, nothing, because he knows where Floyd Mayweather was born. He's like, a, he would, he been raised in boxing, so there's no need for him to like do anything boxing. Just get your hands ready and then use that awkwardness at your advantage until mm -hmm. just let me watch yeah, let me him. just give me something to watch that said Damn. hopefully you can keep me. He can tell you <laughs> though, real talk, I mean he came into the sport, I mean dedicated, but there are different levels to this thing and whenever you come in with the mindset like a Conor McGregor, to be honest, straightforward. Um, this is just no this is you know straight liquor, no chaser. Conor McGregor comes into the sport with the understanding of the grind. Yeah. He, he, he has a maniacal drive, and that's where it makes the fight interesting. His confidence cannot be shaken, and y'all have seen that. And when you have that type of individual, that's this guy over here who just finished talking is that kind of animal. And I mean, you're going to see a lot of him, no doubt. And he can tell you what it's like to be in the ring with him. It's like <laughs> everywhere you go, you can't go anywhere. It's just like you're constantly being blocked off, man. It's crazy. Yeah. That's cool. No matter how quick you are, he's right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting man. you in the head. <laughs> and under, <laughs> under and over. Yeah. And that, I mean, just to be saying it, so when you see a style like Mayweather, let's just say if he was Mayweather and he was McGregor, now McGregor is more of a counterpuncher. He ain't. <laughs> he's Tyson. You know what I'm saying? It has just totally taken a peekaboo to new heights. So when you see a guy like that who eats up the road like Pac-Man, and then he put that pressure on you, because we all know in the sport of boxing, pressure bursts pipes. And when he coming, if you don't have your conditioning right, what, what what is it like when you in there and you ain't got your conditioning right? <laughs> Put it up. <laughs> you're tired, you might see stars. Legs go first. <laughs> yeah. Eruption. When your legs Ooh. go, whoo. I mean, so you see this fight where Connor's been on for two years strong. The whole two years Mayweather's been gone. You've seen Connor getting that work, constant work. And he's not taking a step back or, and what showed his fortitude is when he lost the first fight to Nate. Diaz in a brutal battle and decided, you know, if I'm about this life, what I need to do is come get my face back. And when I saw that happen, he came back <laughs> and win, lose, or draw, that second fight was in the top three of most brutal fights in history, including club, bar fights, professional, <laughs> amateur, um, in World War II. That second fight won't be surpassed because if anyone else goes into the ring or the octagon and puts forth that effort, you know, that was the closest thing to death. Like Joe Frazier said back in the 70s when he fought Ali the first time and the third time, he said that's the closest thing to death. It just, it, whenever you leave it in the ring like that, like that boy did, he learned what you call fortitude, intestinal fortitude. Like Sugar Ray Leonard always said, that's why guys like Floyd would have survived in any era because of that intestinal fortitude. And whenever you have that, it takes time to develop it. Because Connor, he tapped out the first time. Second time, he got clapped the same way, but he had a different cachet that time. So. It's just like any other sport, you have to get better with time if you cut out to do it. So, like I said, 
Now my man Trey, he's came on board. Tell about your experience last week in the game. He was in here getting it in. He wanted to get his feet wet. He got his feet wet. He got his I feet did, wet. I did. Uh, it was a good experience uh, being able to train with boxers because being in Taekwondo, the main focus is not to hit the head. So being able to go in and really focus on aiming for that part. And like you said, the footwork, that's like a really important thing for me too. So being able to get the best of both worlds, you know, merging those together, that's a really good thing for me too. Cool. Now I'll give an opinion real quick on McGregor also. So being that he's training now, just, he's kind of not, he's like in his element, but also like he's switching up a different aspect of his element. You know, by jumping into boxing, he's no longer focusing on everything, you know, that he's been focusing on for years. So I truly think that he's going to really have to really have that main focus as that, which is really going to help him when he's, you know, boxing against Mayweather. So I think if he's really training right now and he's really like hardcore on that boxing, I, you know, one thing that I did hear about was that, you know, he's going 12, uh, 12 rounds and stuff and he actually got knocked out while he was uh, training. So. You know, that's actually going to happen, I hope not. <laughs> actually, I think he should do like 22 or something like that, or 30 rounds. Yeah. Because, um, cause, uh, cause, I mean, uh, not, I'm not joking because his um, conditioning is no good. And uh, I think that's why Floyd has so much confidence right now to uh, knock him out because he knows he can get him tired and knock him out. And that's that's something that Floyd can do. So he got a, like, Spar for like 20 rounds, yeah. not, not 12. 12 is not good enough against Floyd. Yeah, exactly. And, exactly. Crazy. and exactly. we all know that he's talking about knocking Floyd out. It's not going to be that easy. And I hear a lot of people talking about how is Floyd going to adapt to his own thing, but people are not talk, talking about how is Connor <laughs> is going to adapt to yeah. Floyd, which he got to do too. So. That's right. as a fighter, we all know that <laughs> you I gotta adapt to him and he gotta adapt to me. That's why fight, fighting something somebody new is so like nerve wracking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. I think it's People not only just the it. boxing and everything, it's really that mental focus that you're also gonna have mm -hmm. too. You know, like when you're actually in there, it's not just the physical, it's really like your mind and your point, your 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 fine point, how you're actually gonna be able to hit that, you know, that part of you continuously. So I think that's really one main thing that's really that uh, McGregor is going to have to focus on a lot more. Like, you know, Mayweather, he has, like, he's been doing it for years, but McGregor, like, he's jumping into a different world now, you know what I'm saying? So he's got, he's, he's opened a different door, you know, to himself and to, like, everything else that he's doing, you know, you know, with everything that he's doing in, in general. So that's going to be, like, that main one. I think, you know, if he's meditating and stuff like that, too, that's really going to help him out. Yeah. And before before Coach said something, I heard a lot about uh, McGregor gonna knock out Floyd because he punched hard. Uh, he might punch hard, he might rock him. I mean, because he's bigger than uh, Floyd, but I'm sure Floyd can take one or two, three punches. Yeah. You know, he can take that, yeah. especially for uh, being fighting so long and he hasn't been punished as much as other fighters. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he can take that. So. Yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing. I think we gotta you gotta look at the fact that McGregor's an MMA fighter. So can he really throw the jab? Can he use his jab in the fight in the boxing world? We don't exactly. know. We're gonna find out. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of question marks right there. But what I want to know right now is, you pick Floyd. Why is Floyd going to win, and how is he going to win? When you pick somebody. Yeah. Like I write for the betters. When you pick somebody, you gotta have something that, that weighs on. You compare it and you kinda put the um, X's and O's together and you cross it over and you come up with an answer. Now the odds right now are four to one in Floyd's favor. But as Vegas gets closer, I think it's 60% of the people are, 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 that are betting are rolling with Connor. That's fan base and stuff. And people, you know, they they listen to Connor, and Connor sounds so convincing. And that's that thing that I said. Even, even during the Klitschko Anthony Joshua fight, what did I tell you guys that he said? Anthony Joshua said, "I practice my confidence like I practice my jab. I 
practice the confidence. I practice the ring walk. I practice the confidence when I looked into the crowd and I wanted them to see that I believed that I was going to win that fight. And I wanted them to see it in my eyes before I went out. And when I got into that ring, I stopped and turned around, leaned my back against the ropes and looked into the audience and took it all in because I knew I was about to be the man. And that's kind of what it is. Conor McGregor has that thing. How can you really blame the people that are choosing them because they don't see no pussy in them and he ain't showing none. I mean, I don't know another athlete, let alone UFC fighter, mixed martial arts, I don't care if you're from Bellator, I don't care if you're from the NFL, I don't care if you're from rugby. I've never seen an athlete cross over without doubts in his speech, in his language, in his presence, and that on its own probably will never be duplicated again because you cannot see it. You cannot see that thin silver lining that may be going through his mind, that maybe I done stepped in too deep. He ain't showing his poker face is absolutely double-edged sword. So what does this fight look like, the night of the fight, August 26th? What does Floyd do? I'm going to tell you what Floyd's going to do, just like he's doing everybody else. He's going to break him down. How? Work his jab. He's going to hit him with the jab first, circle the ring, do footwork. And he's going to go on the shelves, start countering him with his right hand, and then hitting him with left hooks and rolling under his wild punches. It's, it's what he does with everyone else. Like him against Marcos Maidana, he's a hard puncher. Probably, he's probably as powerful as Conor McGregor, you know, oh, comparing yeah. to. He's walking around 200 pounds right now, so he is. Right, <laughs> right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. We, we're going to see on the 26. He does the same thing to every single fighter. They, fighters train their whole life to beat someone like Floyd, and they still can't. I just don't see someone who's been, you know, getting two years straight of work, going in the ring, into his world, and just dominating. I just don't see it happening. Well, you know, that's why they bet. Yeah. That's why they make the fight. That's why they have the E. That's why they have contracts. That's why they have the UFC. Yeah. And that's why they have boxing. Because now it can happen. What is it going to look like the night of the fight? Like I said, McGregor is coming from the MMA world, so I don't, I don't think he is going to adapt to the game of boxing. Like I'm pretty sure he'll come out swinging uh, with like hooks and, and, and knockout shots. Right? I don't think he has the the skill set to set up those punches, like with the jab and stuff. So I think it's, it's he going to get tired fast. Floyd gonna do what he always do. He might, he might get that knockout. Like he said, he gonna have to stand toe to toe with the guy and draw that line. Like he said, right? It's gonna be tough. It's so, gonna be a good fight, man. It's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be a, a parade. Yep. What you got, man? What does it look like? If you call the fight, if you call something, you gotta stick it out there. You gotta put it right, out there on right, Quiz right. Street. We, we got it on the record now. Right. I gotta send a shout out to all my peoples out there, um, all my crew out there that uh, do it for the betters at ESPN. My boy Johnny Wiles, shouts out, and now back to the uh, Zion at hand. <laughs> well, for me, from what I see is, Floyd is just gonna peel layers. It's, it's, that's giving, that's, that's what he's gonna do. And I know he's gonna see a lot of holes in, in mm -hmm. Connors, you know, his, his arsenal. So, I know for a fact that Floyd is just gonna pick him off. He's, he's just gonna take and poke and, you know, um, Round roughly about the fourth, maybe fifth round, he, he's pretty much going to get into the Philly shell and he's going to start countering. And he's he's really going to start chopping him down, uh, working the body. And I know he's going to throw a lot of jabs. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to go to the Philly early. Yeah. I think he's going to draw that line like he did with Canelo. Mm -hmm. so, so, well, I don't know now. Your Philly shell. Um, going against the South Pole, you know, I'll put this on one of my tests. Is that the best uh, solution? George, is, is, uh, is that the best solution for a South Pole? I thought you were I mean, I'm going to I'm talk, talk about um, Connor. I'm, I'm not going to talk about Floyd. Yes, thank well, you. let me talk about Floyd just a little bit, about what he's going to do. He's, he's going to fight. Just because Connor is a Connor uh, Connor puncher, just he on pretty much you gonna see what he did to Canelo. That's what he gonna do. 
Um, but Connor, what Connor's going to do is um, I think he's going to throw a lot of power shot. Not power shot, but hurtful shot. Trying to hurt Floyd quick. Because um, he knows that he can't box him. So he going to try to hurt him. Hurt him. I don't know what he's um, practicing right now, but he should be practicing hurtful punches to hurt him. Because we all know that um, um, Floyd going to have to adapt to him. So for him, that's, that's where his shot comes from. He's going to be adapting to me, so let me hurt him. So that's what he, I'm, th I'm thinking he should take advantage from that point and then hurt the old man. Can he hurt him on the inside, or would you, if, um, you, if you were right now, if you were swapping, if Conor McGregor walked in here right now, you would say, look, this one thing I got to tell you to do, how to throw it? I don't, um, in the inside, it's going to be hard for him to hurt Floyd just because from all the things I watch him do, he doesn't, he doesn't work in the inside. He pretty much uses the range, because he doesn't do inside yeah. fighting. So I don't think it's gonna be an inside. It's gonna be a more range, range because he got longer reach and longer range than on Floyd. So I don't think I haven't seen him fight in the inside. I don't think he got an inside game, really. But I think um, he's gonna be more for distance, trying to hurt him from there, and that's where his his uh, shot is. He got big bone. He can hurt him. He can mm -hmm. drop like big punches. Like he can really do that. Short right hooks. I don't know if he know how to throw that. That's the only thing, you know. I don't know how to. I don't know if Conor know how to throw those on low boxing. That's, I mean, tricks. I would call it because um, as as a guy from another um, um, martial yes. art, yeah. I didn't know how to throw the low hooks, the twelve inch. I mean, the six inch punches and stuff like that. So I don't know if Conor knows it. I mean, we heard that Bruce, Bruce Lee know how to do the one um, inch um, punch, but we don't really practice that. So I don't know if he knows that, but he does come from a boxing background when he was younger. He didn't do a lot of years on it, but I don't know if he know how to throw that. But I do, from what I see in the in the cage, it's more of reach. He just, he knows how to use his reach. So that's what he He said he on that Bruce Lee stuff. He said it, Bruce Lee was the king of the four inch. Bop. Mm -hmm. So, but the tag, the, the, the piggyback off what uh, George was saying, um, you're right. There are a lot of different punches. There are breakdowns of punches, variations of punches. And not only are they, you know, different variations, they're all sharp. Whenever you got a Conor McGregor, I saw some things that I, in the sparring with Paulie Malignaggi, but not just that which that was definitely, you know, Fugazi. Um, it's not a lot of weight in it, but all I need, how many seconds did I tell you all I need to see of a fighter? 12 seconds. I get you, if I get 12 seconds on you, I got you. And I did see some things in his style, even when he's in the octagon. So I'll break that down in about 15 seconds of understanding range understanding how to step back and catch a guy. That punch, when he got that 13 second knockout, that was a chip shot. We call that boom, anchor punch. Ali was taught that back in the 60s and it's four inches and it travels at four one hundredths of a second. That's the blink of an eye. Pop! And if it catches you, it's going to hit you, and you're not going to see it on top of the fact that it hit you. And that punch right there, if you're going to catch somebody where you throw that, what's that called? Throw away jab. Throw away jab. Make them look hit and distract them. And then, boom, out of nowhere, you throw that other shot. And see, they're distracted, and you're putting something on it. It's almost like you're playing with them on the side of that make sure he distract him. Boom, and by the time he, that I turn, boom, and you learn. And this is planning. It's not right here, it's out here, and you understand. And I've seen Connor throw that shot, but he's southpaw. So, boom, it's coming from the left side. So if there are things that I know 
that a lot of people who are watching from the UFC and mixed martial arts, Bellator and all of those other disciplines, they're watching, they don't quite understand how to break it down or how to uh, 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 allow their vision to see something they haven't been schooled about, but we have, and I see things that he could do that would give him a better chance in winning that fight. That anchor shot and little shots to deliver, but those things you gotta practice. Those little liver shots, you can't get in the ring with a Floyd, a guy who lives off of that. He knows somebody who's a novice. You can't even get in the ring and spar with him if you're a novice at his gym. You have to be on an elite level or headed up that way to even get in the ring because you'll get chewed alive because he's a dog. Uh, Conor McGregor's a dog. What do I mean by dog? A dog is no matter what happens in that ring, he coming. No matter how bad you hurt him, coming. You know what I'm saying? And like when it came down to kind of being choked out, it's being choked. That's different. And you know what I mean? And even the second time it happened, he went ahead and bit down on his mouthpiece and was like, whatever happens, happens. Just like Holly Holmes. And uh, she's about that life. Because when you can go out like this, <laughs> you're the real deal. I have no question about you. You can be in the foxhole with me anymore. Because um, that's what it takes, though. Those little things that they do in a fight will be exponentially the key to him getting away with a victory. And um, So I got one question, too. Um, now, I have seen a lot of McGregor's fights, you know. <clears throat> they say also that the only time that he lost was when he was knocked down on the ground. You know what I mean? And like Choked out. Yeah, yeah, when he's throwing hands like oh, yeah. he can. Yeah. But I don't know if he's really going to throw hands with Mayweather like just up the whole time. I think he's gonna try to anticipate strength on him. He's gonna really try to avoid Mayweather's little quick tabs, but try to get that one powerful shot in. Mm-hmm. You know well, that I mean? one powerful shot, like I said, um, like most people are saying, that's what his shot, his shot ain't that. It's learning how to use the body. It's learning how to use the shoulders. Whenever they're in a position and he rotate that shoulder. That's what he's training for him, definitely. And whenever you learn how to bang bodies, use your size and make it ugly. I mean, and and making the fight ugly, let me see, let me give you a, a demonstration of what a fight, an ugly fight was. Matter of fact, Castillo Mayweather, if you Google that fight on, go to YouTube and check their fight out, he made it ugly. He raked on, he stayed on Floyd in his chest, um, but he was an experienced boxer. Uh, no, he was an experienced killer. <laughs> and when he did that, what well, Floyd did have to get, he had a torn rotator cuff too, so he was fighting with one hand, but that's how good Floyd is. He beat a guy who could maul him, stay on him, stay in his chest, stay on his nerves all night long, and still find a way to create enough space to score. But whenever you see a guy make a fight ugly, Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson pulled that up, the first one, the second one, forget about it. Um, the Vander Holyfield, hip shots, um, elbows, head, boom. But it's all in boxing. It's not cheating. It's craft. And the art of breaking a person down is getting them out of their mindset. It wasn't about just the physical damage that he was giving them. It was about the mental. He knew that Mike Tyson was feeling, hey man, that was an elbow. Hey man, that was low. Hey man, that was a head shot. He know that's going through his mind. And while he was steady thinking and talking to himself, Evander was steady hitting him. That's how you get into his head. So it's not all about just the punches. It's about taking the guy out of his game. Marcos Maidana, Floyd Mayweather. Marcos Maidana coming in there with them open hands. Wow, wow, wow. Hitting him, uppercuts, hands, you know, doing everything but pulling Floyd pants down, then that's what you call an ugly fight. Doing what you have to do to win the fight. It's not just about boxing at that point. It's not about looking good. It's about getting out of this one and winning pretty the next time. So when I look at this, I don't think of that. I'm, I'm a coach that understands the entire complexity of what happens in that ring from the first round to 12. It doesn't have to be by the book. There's science that goes behind getting into a person's head and allowing them to fight how they want to, you can't do that. So maybe that sounds like a plan, 
that I would use or you would use, but it's a lot more than coming in there and saying, I'm gonna hit him with a big shot. How about getting his head out of the game and then catching him when he's most frustrated? I think that might be an already right, good fun game plan. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I agree but I that. think that'll be the way um, 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 McGregor does it, he doesn't do it in the booth. Because I don't think he knows how to do it in the booth. Yeah. He, well, he might do it with talking, but get in Floyd's head by talking, but I don't think that's going to work with Floyd. I think <laughs> well, that McGregor lot. likes to put on like that picture, though. You know, he has that confident way, physically, how you portray him, you know, because you're oh, looking yeah. at him like, yo, he looks like he's top notch, you know, just by what he does. But Actually, I understand, I, like, when he's I, in the ring. I feel like if Connor talk a lot of shit in the fight, and as the fight progresses, he's not going to talk a lot of shit, <laughs> which, I'm sorry, but he's not going to talk a lot of mess, which will give Floyd more yeah. confidence. Yeah. You well, know? I mean, like, right now, it's going to be, like, eye to eye. You know, like, right now, they're, they're looking, you know what I mean? They're, like, just discussing. Everybody's just viewing everything going on. But once they're, like, in the ring, and it's like, okay, like, it's actually time. Let's see where that mindset's going to remain. You know what I'm saying? If that con if that confidence well, with McGregor is still going to be at that it, level, I think it's going to be there because just from every every other fight that he had, he that confidence was there. Even the first fight, with, um, the first fight fight with uh, Diaz, he was so overconfident when he was going in that first fight, fight and he was talking um, um, crap and stuff like that. Um, I think he's still going to do that, but. You just need to know that with Floyd, it's going to be different. Floyd, I don't know how Floyd fight inside the ring. I don't know if he talk a lot, cause, but I do see him do a lot of facial stuff, looking, yeah. those yeah. kind of, that get into, like, I'm going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. But that's what I want. I'm saying, so when I be like this, like in your head. No. <laughs> no I think, that's just I think it's, it's going to be I'm, more the fact that he can't, he won't be able to hit Floyd. He's gonna hit. He's Floyd. gonna get frustrated. No, he's he, gonna he, he gonna hit Floyd. He's gonna get a few. Unless he like know how to do that peekaboo. No, yeah. he's not gonna do peekaboo. He's not gonna do. I mean, it's a fight. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I can go with somebody just new. He's still gonna hit me. Just not gonna rock him, but he's gonna hit him. And before we clicked out, you know, we were discussing the fact that, you know, there are certain methods in hitting. I learned a while back that I seen a young kid come to the gym, didn't have all the coordination in the world. But when he got in the ring, he was still able to score. Didn't matter if his punch looked great. Didn't matter if it was uh, going to get a grade A in the sport of boxing. The fact is, he saw a target, he landed it. And it was even if it was loopy, it was working. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to. It's not how you do it. No, it doesn't matter what it looked like. The fact is, you can make it an ugly fight and make it grimy. And that's what this is all about. You don't know what it is you're gonna see that night. That's why you're gonna have to pay for a view or you're gonna be there. They've already sold over seventy million dollars worth of seats. You can't tell me there's no entry in this fight because if everybody knew for a fact what was gonna happen, why would you pay to see it? So, like I said, we just gonna we just wanted to chime in. We're going to have official predictions. My prediction will be up on ESPNboxing.com or ESPN The Insider on Wednesday. So you'll know exactly who I picked and why I picked that person. And we will do a weigh-in show on Friday. So tune in. Come over to Master Boxing on YouTube or over on Facebook. Um, like I said, this is the panel right here. These are all fighters up and coming, and we wanted to give you guys kind of like a spectacle or just a viewpoint from each one of these guys from a different science because they all have a viewpoint. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Shouts out to all of those who support it, and we look forward to seeing this fight. Anybody else got anything to say before we bounce out? McGregor all day. You already know. All day. Money um, made. That's all the way. Even if he doesn't win, he's going to take something great out of this fight for the cage fight.
think he's going going back home. He's gonna be even. A, he he's gonna be a dragon. For, yeah. Forget about monster. He's gonna be a dragon. He gonna be because nobody in the cage right now can even do anything to him. Cause everybody's like wrestling, yeah. jiu jitsu. Muay Thai, and they can't even do Muay Thai anyway, so not even Muay Thai because people hate hitting people on the leg with the shank because it hurts, so they don't even like to, to kick in in a cage fight. You, you see it, um, but hands, he's he's like, by far, he's the best. And uh, I just want to, I, I think this one going gonna to add so much to his game and fight him on probably going to be take him to the next yeah, level. Yeah, take him to the next level. I mean, he, he's going his eye going to be open and it's going to be scary for people in USC. That's I think that's to me honestly for to me for my regret is like that's that's what I want to see at the Kevin end of the Bay. day. At the end of the day, that's what I want to see like after this fight what you going to bring to um, UFC is going to be I mean, he's he's pretty much he's going to change the game over there. Having this little fight yeah. on, on, on yeah. Floyd, yeah, he might not beat Mayweather, but when he goes back to UFC, he might yeah. not lose again. Yeah, mm -hmm. but don't you think he's gonna motivate other guys to get on a striking game even more? I, yeah. I, I, I think they're already doing it right now. Yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, yeah. there are levels to mm -hmm. saying, okay, we need to step it up into yeah. a real. Master boxing clinic. <laughs> <laughs> we make champions. We make champions. Make That's champions, all it is, right. man. Yeah. Well, my name is Eric A. Bradley. The wild prince, you already know. McGregor all day. <laughs> Mr. Philly Shell, Zion. I'm James Primo Dantes. Pup, Brendan Jackson. Trey Mars, 9192, Inside the Box. And everybody's social media will be at the end of this video. And we are signing out. This is Master Boxing, where we break the fight world down, round by round. Peace. Peace. We make champions.